Put on the drums. Uh, I'm sure you agree. They are absolutely fantastic together, both of them. And a brilliant singer is, is Elliot. He is actually our, um, uh, the current young uh, singer of the year for Caerphilly, and he's got a big competition coming up this uh, this weekend. Uh, where well, he's not competing as a singer, but as a musician. So we, we, we wish him and everybody else who's involved in that competition the very, very best of luck. I'm sure it's going to be outstanding once again. So, good evening. Honoured guests, uh, members of the governing body, members of staff, parents and pupils, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our annual prize-giving celebration. Now, as you're all aware, we are here to celebrate the achievements of our pupils in the current Year 11, who are sitting there at the front, and also those pupils who formed the Year 11 class of 2014, who are also here as well. It's lovely to see you once again. I also extend a very warm welcome to your parents and family members who are rightly proud of you and are here to share in the recognition of your achievements at our school. And as this is such a very special occasion for all of us, I'd like to introduce some of the guests who have given up their time to share this prize giving evening with you. So I'll start, and I know he's been mentioned already, by introducing our special guest, Professor Chris Pepper. Professor Pepper leads the scientific research team at the Institute of Cancer and Genetics at the University Hospital of Wales in Cardiff. Now, Cardiff has been recognised for its world-class research um, into the most common forms of leukaemia. Okay, and in particular, um, chronic lymphocytic leukaemia. And this affects approximately 3,000 people in Wales and about 20,000 people across the whole of the UK. Now, research by uh, this team at Cardiff has resulted in breakthrough developments in the treatment of this form of, uh, of leukaemia. Professor Pepper has personally worked on this disease for more than 20 years. And recently, this has all been on the news, a new drug has been developed to target cancer cells, stopping them in their tracks before they've had time to multiply and travel through the body. Now, earlier on this year, our pupils in the community of Black Comprehensive School was able to contribute to the research through a series of fundraising activities. You may have remembered it in Year 11 and Year 10 where we had um, our previous guest speaker, Mark Lewis Jones, come to talk to us about his desert challenge. Well, all of that was to support the, um, the developments that, um, that, that have been taking place at Cardiff. And we've been delighted, really delighted, to have made a contribution uh, to this exciting work. Furthermore, Professor Pepper was kind enough to invite older pupils to visit the university, and they did so back in September. And they had the opportunity to tour the research facilities and discover some of the processes by which scientists work. Now I know from having had a conversation with a lot of them, they found the visit fascinating and inspiring. Now in previous years, this disease, this horrible disease, was almost fatal for most people who were affected. Today, Although you can't cure chronic lymphocytic leukaemia, patients will be able to live a normal life expectancy with their disease. And it's really inspiring to welcome a guest whose work has led directly to the improvement of life chances of so many people. Now we do have management at the back there today with buckets. So you're not allowed to leave the, stay at the hall today unless you make a little bit of contribution. So check your pockets and I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to make contributions as everybody else has. Chris, it's a delight to have you here, so thank you very, very much for coming, and remember the buckets, everybody, please. We're also delighted to welcome important representatives from the local community, and they always show such a keen interest in our school and the progress made by our pupils. It's a pleasure to welcome Councillor David Carter, the Mayor of Caerphilly, this evening, and also, for the first time, Steve Byatt, who is our Challenge Advisor, uh, and will be working with us for the next couple of years uh, with, with support and ideas and challenge and so on. And as well, it's a pleasure to have you here today, Steve. In addition, members of our business and wider community who support the school in so many ways are present, and we're grateful for uh, the Rotary Club for attending, and all of you who have been generous in donating trophies and sponsoring prizes this evening. We're really grateful for that. The pupils have received their trophies and prizes and so on. We couldn't do it without you. So thank you ever so much for, for, for your generosity and for being here today. We welcome head teachers and senior teachers from our local primary schools. Now, we are really proud of having a very successful partnership within our cluster. And we always work so hard to ensure that people transfer well from our primary schools. And this year, 
our cluster has grown to include two additional primary schools, um, Libanus Primary School and also Markham, and we're delighted to welcome them to the school. We're also pleased that leaders from College Gwent, Jane Seward, Jane Ford, um, are able to join us. Again, most of you in Year 11 are at Cross Keys, and we have very close links with all our partners, but particularly Cross Keys, uh, and it's lovely to see you here this evening. Our PTA, our Parent Teacher Association, is also here, and they've been really generous this year again in supporting us through the donation of prizes. And Lisa Price, who's our chair of the PTA for the first time this year, <coughs> is able to attend along with other committee members. And the PTA does an enormous amount of really, really good work supporting the school through its fundraising activities for the pupils of Blackwood. And I'd like to thank them all for coming to support you. I'd also like to welcome members of our governing body. They play a really, really important part in the life and work of the school. They give lots of time to support us in many ways, and I'm grateful for all that work. We have representatives here this evening, including, of course, our new Chair of Governors, Mr. Uh, Andrew Freena Childs. And thank you, Andrew, for coming today. Finally, I'd like, to, I'd like to, to welcome back former staff members, including our former head teacher, uh, Mike Pickard. Nice to see you, Mike. It's lovely to see you here this evening, and Sue James, of course, and lots of other people here who've come back uh, to celebrate this evening with us. It does mean a great deal to our pupils, the staff, and friends of the school that you are really able to attend. And after the, um, the, the ceremony today, I invite everyone to join us for our buffet in the large canteen at the end of the evening. Well, a real final, a final, I'd like to say a special welcome to our former pupils. There you are, all sitting on the left-hand side as I'm looking out. It's lovely to see you all again. You really did develop and mature into young, well, into friendly, caring, and responsible people, and we, we remember you like that. The vast majority of you did really well in your exams, and you've been able to move on now to sixth form or into the world of work. And pupils of all abilities in that year group did really well and achieved really good exam results. Do you know, there were 425 A or A star grades last year at GCSE, our highest number ever. And more pupils than ever before achieved five or more GCSE grades at all levels. So your overall performance here we are at year 11 today, your overall performance across all subjects was higher than all previous year groups. So well done to all of you. There we are, what's more? Okay, so this year, year 11, are have got a hard act to follow, and you've also made a very, very good start. Your attendance has been pretty good so far, although you did a little bit in October, I was looking at it today, but I hope the threat of not being allowed to go to the prom unless your attendance is good enough, is a real motivator. Is it? Nod? <laughs> yes. Okay, better happy. Anyway, I hope the threat is good enough. Most of you have already taken your exams in English Literature and Science in Year 10, and most of you will have taken your GCSE Maths exam this November, coming in, some of you during half term to revise, and you've got important exams in January in English and Science, and that means revising for your mock exams coming up before Christmas, Revising for the real ones over Christmas, and I think the first science exam is on the first week back after the holidays. I thought I'd make you smile. <laughs> GCSEs, as you can tell, are even more demanding and challenging these days, and I don't think anybody here can accuse pupils of having an easier time than we did. Uh, no way. They are hard work, and to do well requires hard work. So every success that you have is well deserved and the pupils and the teachers, they work collectively to meet the raised expectations posed by the demands. <coughs> Today, achieving academic success is the main, one of the main reasons for the, for, for the prize giving. It's hugely important for the pupils of the school, and we are recognising and valuing those academic achievements, along with size some other things too. Our prize winners here, though, have also been given opportunities to develop their skills and competencies and talents in many other ways as well. It's been a busy and exciting year. Many of you have been involved in sports clubs and competitions. Football, rugby, netball, hockey, athletics and sports competitions take place all the time. And we have current British champions in trampolining again. And our teams are competing again this weekend, so good luck to them. Our music department provides so many opportunities for pupils with musical interest. And many of you in the hall today will be taking part in the competition this weekend. And I'm taking part in concerts, modern and uh, traditional, and it was earlier on this year that we had a tremendous sunshine on Leith. This evening, we've been entertained already by Elliot, 
uh, our head boy, and, and I'd like to thank him. And later on, of course, we're going to see Katie Priest and our ukulele band, and they will be entertaining us, I'm sure, very handsomely also. Over the past few weeks, uh, pupils in this hall have been involved in visits, both locally and internationally. Uh, pupils in Year 11 uh, taking their GCSE history exams have just returned from Poland, where they went to Auschwitz, and that was um, incredibly moving for all of you. Uh, some of you will have been to see a production of To Kill a Mockingbird at um, the new theatre in Cardiff, and I, I'm not going to mention everything, but there are so many national and international visits and events that serve to enrich your lives, and I hope you still can get involved in all of those. Pupils of Blackwood join so many clubs, including the Young Enterprise, Formula One Challenge for the first time this year, Young Chamber, the Duke of Edinburgh, and a huge number of sports teams and, and music teams and so on. We always seek to promote and celebrate the wider curriculum. I'm also grateful for the community involvement of pupils in this room. Absolutely. You always participate <coughs> enthusiastically in the organisation of charity events, such as Operation Christmas Child, that we've been doing just recently. But you also get involved in things like peer mentoring, and young leadership, and sport, and music, and languages, and reading. You're very supportive of one another, and they develop those leadership skills that you need, but also show a caring, compassionate side um, of you. And that's very, very impressive. Our school council. We've got lots of school council members here today, and they play a prominent role in our school, and we're trying to consult them on the main issues involving people's lives. They compile and produce the school's biannual newsletter, which you can see on the school's website. Have a look at it. It's really interesting, and a lot of you will be in that, 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 um, that newsletter. They do a superb job celebrating the events and achievements at our school, and this year, for the first time really, the school council has been involved in writing the development plan, the school development plan, and they've got a little section of their own that they'll be presenting to governors uh, next month. So we're looking forward to that. So parents of the wider community can see some of these successes as they're posted on the school's website on a weekly basis. Our school's achievements are the combination of the work of every pupil and every teacher and every member of staff, and I'm grateful for the contribution made by everybody, and parents also. Now last year, in year 11, you were fortunate to benefit from a very dedicated progress manager in Mr. Neil Robinson. He is here somewhere. He's probably at the back with a bucket, a bucket man today. Um, but he did such a great job that he's now taken on the role of progress manager for you at the front in year 11 as well. So thank you very much, Mr. Robinson. I'm also grateful to the excellent senior pupil team that we had last year, ably led by Dan Leonard, and also uh, our head girl, um, Hannah McDonald. So lovely to see you both back again. This evening, let us say my thanks to our current head boy and head girl, Elliot and Chantel, for their contribution tonight, and also to our, uh, our deputies, who are also going to be um, uh, contributing too. And also for Mrs. Fowles for, con for uh, conducting the proceedings on stage. And I'm sure you can all see that a huge amount of work goes on to ensuring that an evening like this <laughs> is really special for everybody who attends. Huge amount of work. And I've got a personal thanks to, uh, to Mrs. Fowles and all the administrative team for the extensive arrangements made in readiness for this evening. Particular thanks to Andrew Ridder, Lisa Hook, Sue Bowen, Nicola Maisy for all their help. It's been a real team effort. It's an exciting time for our school. We have invested heavily in ICT, our new equipment in the computer rooms, and the complete renovation of the LRC. I hope you've used the LRC this year. We've purchased, and you haven't had them yet, but we have purchased them, uh, two, 200 new Android tablets. You know, they're, they're as good as iPads, I think, anyway. <laughs> right? And they're to be used with the pupils and invested in training to support the teachers in the use of these new uh, teaching technology. You found it hard to park this evening, some of you, I would imagine. And one of the reasons for that is because we have resurfaced the tennis courts, which used to be our car park. And there have been other investments in the fabric of the school, and they've helped to improve the learning environment for everybody. I think when you came back from half, from half term and saw the carpets um, without chewing gum on them, it was a really, really nice investment. And we, it's lovely to see the curtains here to replace the old ones that we had for about 300 years. So it's very nice to have them, isn't it? <coughs> so, our whole school is working hard to meet the challenges that we've been set to raise achievement. 
Just recently, the Minister of Education, Hugh Lewis, visited our school to promote the school's Challenge Cymru programme, in which we are participants. And we are really pleased to be part of this programme, as it involves significant additional investment for the school. The funding has given us the opportunity to improve our ICT hardware, to provide additional staff in key areas, and experiment with new approaches to teaching. And our challenge is a simple one. We want to raise expectations and achievement of all our pupils, especially those that perhaps we found a little bit difficult to reach in recent years. This means realising that some groups of pupils need to achieve better than they have been. And it means acknowledging that there are things we can all do better. And Schools Challenge Cymru has provided us with the opportunity through additional funding, support and ideas to do just that. So, in conclusion, for those of you receiving your certificates this evening and your prizes, this is your, well, particularly the certificates, this is your final official <coughs> event at Blackwood. So you go, ah, oh, many of you win. Congratulations to all of you and be really proud of your achievements. Remember that Blackwood, wherever you go, will always be your school. It's always your school. And I hope you always feel that you've been prepared well for the next challenges and opportunities in your lives, or some of them at least. Aim high and do not be satisfied with anything less than your best. Thank you all for coming and I hope you have an enjoyable evening.